Hi there, my name is Dr. Sarah Wooten. I am a small animal veterinarian with over 20 years experience and I am here to talk to you about why cats purr. So when it comes to purring, most of us probably assume that when we hear a cat purring, it means that they're happy. And I think that that's a safe assumption in a lot of different situations, but not always. Did you know that cats will purr for other reasons other than just contentment? So when you think about why a cat is purring, you really have to interpret it within the context of the greater situation. What's going on around the cat? What other behaviors is the cat exhibiting? Uh, what is the sound of the purr like? Because the sound of a purr of a happy purring cat is different than the purring of a cat that is particularly stressed or wanting something from you. So. Again, what's going on around the cat, any other behaviors and the sound of the purr itself, all of those clues can tell you why the cat is using the purr at that particular time. Some cats purr a lot um, and other cats just don't purr at all. It doesn't mean that your cat is necessarily not feeling happiness if they're not purring, they're just using different types of ways to communicate with you. In general, it is likely that purring is used for one of three reasons communication, appeasement, and healing, believe it or not. So those are the three main reasons, but let's get in further and I'm gonna go over six different things that could be causing your cat to purr. So number one is the easy one, happy contentment. This is usually a very relaxed cat that's maybe sitting on your lap. Maybe they're making biscuits. Maybe their eyes are slightly closed in contentment. There's a lot of other clues that this cat is happy at the same time. So that's number one. That's the easy one, right? Happy contentment. So the number two reason could be location, 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 location. We know that kittens, when they are first starting to purr uh, with, and they usually purr within the first week to two weeks of life, they'll actually purr to let their mother know where they are so that they can get nursing or comfort or whatever it is that they need from their mom. So another reason that your cat could be purring, especially if they're not directly on top of you, could be for location. It could be a leftover behavior from kittenhood. This can also persist with some cats in a into adulthood when they purr around dinner time. It's because they're trying to let you know where they are so you can feed them. So under that same similar reason would be number three would be attention seeking behavior. So some cats are very smart and they figured out if they purr, they'll get something that they want. Maybe praise from you or petting or, or a treat or toy time or, or any of those things. So if you find that when your cat starts purring and then you give them something that they love, it could be that they're purring to get your attention. Number four would be exploration. Yeah, exploration. So some cats, and we don't know why, I mean, if you know why, put it in the comment section, but they will purr when they're exploring a new environment. So if a cat is going into a new part of the house, or maybe you just moved and the cat is exploring the house or the cat's outside and doing something different and new, sometimes they'll purr at the same time. We're not sure if this is due to excitement or curiosity or what, but some cats will purr when they're exploring new environments. So number five uh, is not a happy reason why they purr, uh, but it could be stress. Yes, I know this sounds counterintuitive. Well, you're probably sitting there thinking, well, why would it purr if it's happy, but also purr when it's stressed? Well, um, yeah, we're not sure why they do it but they do. So some cats, when they're in a really stressful situation, or if maybe they're, they've just been startled, say you startled your cat or your cat is at the vet, um, or at the groomer or just someplace that's really stressful to them, they will start to purr. And, uh, even though we're not sure why they do it, w one theory that I hold me personal is that it just makes them feel better. It reminds them of more comforting times. And so they're doing it to comfort themselves. Uh, when I was in practice and I would see cats, I would see really scared cats all the time that were purring like crazy. So again, the way to interpret this is to 
Look and see what else is going on in the context of the purr. So these cats that were purring were usually hiding their face. They usually had dilated eyes. They were usually trying to make themselves as small and as in, and invisible as possible uh, and purring like a freight train. So again, interpret the purr in the context of everything else. And then the last uh, reason and possibly the most controversial reason would be for healing healing. Um, so one hypothesis is that the purr itself is a powerful healing action. It's thought that the vibrations from the activity of purring are physically rejuvenating. Um, it's a way for a cat to heal after they've been stressed. And they've actually measured the frequency of the vibrations of these different purrs, which can range from like 20 hertz up to like 150 hertz. And uh, they've actually found that these frequencies in studies, you can look this up for yourself, actually promote bone growth and bone healing. And as a veterinarian, that actually makes a lot of sense to me because um, I, again, when I was in practice, I would see cats that were super sick or super painful, cats that were literally at death's door that were purring. If you think about a cat only purring for happy reasons, that doesn't make sense at all. But if the cat was purring to heal itself, that could make a lot of sense. There's also an old phrase, you put a cat in a room with its broken bones, just in the same room together, and it will heal. And there is some truth to that. It won't heal the best as if you set it with, you know, pins and surgery and all of that. But uh, one of, in the olden days, uh, one of the things we used to do with cats way back when, not now, is if they broke a bone, just crate them for a while. And lo and behold, that fracture would heal up. And so we weren't sure why cats had such good regenerative healing powers. Could be the purr. So don't, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get uh, their leg fixed if it's broken, but I'm also saying that cats could be equipped with a built-in healing mechanism in their purr. And if that's true, that's really cool. So ultimately the quest to finding out what your cat's purr means is interpreting all of the clues in the environment and the other behavioral cues that your cat is giving you at the same time. So learn to interpret all the different body language cues that your cat gives you. They say a lot of things with their tail. Um, they say a lot of things with their ears and their eyes uh, and even with their voice. So that all of those together can help you interpret what your cat is trying to say to you when they purr. Thank you so much for watching. If you have other reasons why you think your cat might be purring, leave it in the comment section. Or if you've noticed any of these things with your cat, I would like to know about that as well. Put it in the comment section. If you like this kind of content, hit subscribe and I'll be back with more cat related content for you soon.